Good afternoon, Casting. Today is Friday, May 7th, 2021. Today's holiday is National Space Day. In today's announcements, any eligible FFA member who is interested in filling out an FFA officer application form for the upcoming 2021 to 2022 school year, please see Mr. Korniak for an application. Congratulations to the Caston High School HNAC Writing Contest participants for taking home first place in the conference competition. A special congrats to Lainey Strasser for placing first in both the poetry and personal narrative categories, and Jake Passion and Kate Snyder for placing first in the challenge category. Attention all National Honor Society members, the, initial, the initiation ceremony for new members will be held Monday, May 17th at 6.30, immediately prior to the Senior Awards Program. All members, new and old, are expected to attend. Members who were newly inducted in an informal ceremony this fall will be going through the official formal ceremony on this night. Please see Mrs. Evans if you have any questions. The Comic Closet has a lot of prom dresses and some of them are brand new. In addition, they have several dress shirts and suit jackets. If you haven't purchased your prom attire yet, come check out the Comic Closet. Country Lane's Bowling Alley in Rochester will be offering students two free games of bowling per day during the summer. All you have to do is sign up, stop by the office for a card with more information. Attention students, please consider helping out Mackenzie Bennett with her senior project by donating cleaning supplies for the Mayas Mission in Logansport. These can be given directly to Mackenzie or dropped off in the basket in the high school office. Supplies being collected could be bleach, laundry detergent, window cleaner, dish soap, or toiletries. If you have questions, please see Mackenzie. Please continue helping Grace Weiss and Leah Hilton raise money for the Make-A-Wish Foundation by putting donations in buckets for either Mr. Stuber or Mrs. Holderfield to get a pie in the face during lunch. Donations will be collected now through the end of May. In Guidance News, Ancilla College will be here one last time next Thursday, May 13th during lunch to talk to interested students. Anyone interested in the summer ag experience for high school credit needs to see Mr. Korniak or Mrs. Passion by the end of the week. If you have questions about summer ag experience, please reach out to one of them as well. In Sports News, the varsity softball team defeated Lewis Cass 8-7 and Manchester 17-8 this week to increase the team's record to 19-1 overall and to move their ranking to number 2 in Class 1A in the state. Congratulations, girls. Varsity baseball team defeated Culver 16-0. Congratulations to the team and to Kate Zider for throwing a perfect game. The varsity girls and boys track teams both placed second against LaVille and Culver Tuesday night. For the girls, Bailey Turnpaul, Lenny Strasser, and Mackenzie Rudebush all took home first place finishes. For the boys, Austin Day, Brady Evans, and Edison Byram all took home first place finishes. Congratulations to Bailey and Brady for each taking home three first place finishes for the night. In sports action, the JV baseball team will travel to Logansport tonight to take on the Berries at 5.30. The junior high golf team will host Tippy Valley tonight at 4.30. The varsity baseball team will be at Knox tomorrow for a doubleheader starting at 11. The varsity golf team will be taking on Pioneer in the morning starting at 9. Cast in birthdays. Happy birthday this past week to John Aguilar Mendez, Grace Mangelsdorf, Grant Yaden, Preston Holderfield, Ethan Schambarger, Zoe Wolf and Mrs. Rensler. Happy birthday this weekend to Gracie Fritz and Jordan Duncan. Have a great day.